hi everyone welcome back so in this video let's build some super simple applications let's say let's say github search or let's say scoreboard application or simple to-do list or simple forms and all okay so this was the previous example where we were talking about lifecycle hooks and here you can see on mount we are making api call getting the photos from the mock api and assigning it to the photos array so this application we have already discussed now what we will do is we will just delete couple of components <clears throat> so this is our app component and what this app component is doing is it is the root component and it is being mounted on document body if you look into the code you can see this is the target target is a document dot body so this app component is a root component and it is being mounted onto the index.html body. You can also specify document.get element by ID. You can target a particular ID also, uh, same as document.body. Okay, so let's build a simple GitHub search application. This is app swelled component. So what we are going to do is we are going to create a simple application. App swelled component is going to render user and user search component okay so we will build all these components from user.svelt and first let's build this component so in the app component what we are going to do so if you see we are going to use the lifecycle methods on mount and we are going to fetch all the github profiles so here we can say let users all the users and inside script we can use all this lifecycle method on mount which we discussed in the the last video on mount is a method which can be used to fetch the data while rendering the component so here we can call get github users this is the method we are calling so let's import this on mount import on mount from svelte <coughs> and then we need to define this function this more looks like javascript right uh, okay function github users and it's like simple fetch call to public github apis and it is api dot github dot com forward slash users some mock api I mean it's a real API which will give us some users it's a returning a promise so we will just serialize it <clears throat> and then we will get the data and this data we can assign to the users we already have a users so this users we are going to assign the data now this users is nothing but an array right so this users can be iterated we can add some styling because what we are going to do we are going to run a for each loop and this user list this user list can be a <coughs> display flex i mean we can just uh, display them inside a flex card so i will create a class user list and we can just say this okay i added additional column then we have user list li we are writing a simple css width of each and every element is 20 percent of the horizontal width and we can say padding 10 pixel simple styling and now we come to the HTML part here we can just do two things 
because here we are going to have a user search component also so how this how this ui looks like we have on top there's a input text field search we are going to show the user cards in the flex okay so we are going to create another component which is user search import user search from user search dot svelte let's create this component and put uh, just dummy stuff there so they should stop complaining user dot svelte and then we have user search dot svelte so it, it should now stop complaining now we can focus here so we got what we got we got the the users users has been set with the data now we can iterate on to this user list right so what all components we are going to render first we are going to render user search which will be input text field this is user search and now we can start doing the using the html with the Svelte syntax how it works is if there are users then we will do this otherwise what we do is if there are users then render this otherwise this looks more like templating language if so this code will execute only if there is a user so we can just do ul and we can just have for each and how we write each each user each users as user so this user we are going to access and there is a closing of each and now inside this we can have ally tag let me format this a little bit and inside ally we can render the user component so we can pass a couple of things user.login then avatar which is just an image user.avatar url okay these two things we are passing to the user component can I format this or beautify this? I'm not sure if command shift V will work here. Yeah, but this is just HTML. We have user search and we are iterating onto the users array and we are accessing each individual user object and passing that into the user component. User component is the child component. So if you talk about simple user component, how it looks like this is just receiving these two properties username and avatar right so the only thing is it is going to just display both the, the values inside the user component so this is user dot svelte component and i will just copy my template here so here we have this username and avatar and we are publishing that onto this user list so we have image we have username right and we are able to even display the the github usernames so here in the app svelte uh, what we need to do is uh, i think it is not able to render these properly so user list uh, are we putting the proper classes that is we have to see inside ul we can put the the user list class so user list it will put display flex flex row list style none user list and for i mean we just need a user list class and it should apply so when i apply user list yes this is good now user list we have margin padding and everything is working for the ally so on the horizontal row we are able to occupy four users right now we can just uh, design the user search component right this is user search component and user search component will be having a input text field inside input text field when you are submitting the form then we should be able to hit a 
github api and fetch the information so what i will do is i will copy the code here from this to user search i wanted to avoid typing so much so here uh, we are going to fetch the user so we still need a user component because whatever the user we are going to search we have to render that and uh, we are going to have a two different variables simply is a user name query like whatever you are going to type in the input text field and let user the user you are going to fetch and on the mount we are not going to do anything on the mount because we don't want it to render fetch anything we are fetching already in the users component but there is a handle submit method like uh, you are going to type inside something inside input text field and then you will submit that right so here we are going to create a simple form okay so let's update this uh, search component here let's uh, remove this jsx so this is simple user search component we are going to build that will have a simple form and when you submit the form then we are going to call the api so it's a form on submit handle submit and we are going to have a simple input text field there okay so this handle submit method we have to define what this handle submit method will do is it is going to fetch the the, the username fetch the user profile so we have users and here we can pass the username query so the api call is simple and we are going to assign the response to the user object and here we are going to have a simple input text field and simple button input type uh, button with search and this input type text and we are going to bind the value this bind value with the user named query so we can use the same variable name this is username query and we are importing the user component user dot svelte and we can render so we got the user object once we got the user object then we can do the same conditionals if else kind of thing if we got the user and close it with the if and inside this we can render the user component by passing uh, the same attributes username which we are getting from user.login and avatar url we are getting from user dot avatar url okay it's like everything is same what do we do is uh, we are doing handle submit on form submit and uh, we have already bind the value of this input text field with the username query that means whatever you are typing that is getting updated updated in the username query and then on submit we are calling this we can also call event dot prevent default so it should not submit uh, it should be submitting the form properly it should not be reloading the page after that e dot prevent default or we can also use event modifiers and can put this here only something like i think prevent default yeah this is also possible if you don't want to do it like this so we are doing handle submit this is simple search and now we will see what is wrong why it is complaining so this is our user component okay we have style we have script styles we are going to change because we have user search that is the class so div class main class user search and user search is having simple styles padding wedding you can add 
so padding border radius and all because it's a okay i mean i don't know why it was showing some error message here i will do tk sharma right and i do the search then it is going to make the api call and here i can see my output right because it is rendering the user component again just for my search and rest it is rendering all the user list so that is in the apps felt because here we have the combination first is user search then predefined set of user list because we already have the users prefetch users using on mount lifecycle hook and that's it so this is a simple uh, github user search you pass the username we are calling uh, the github user api and we are tracking whatever you are typing in the input text field using this input binding bind value username query it's like two-way data binding this is how it is done when you submit the form handle submit is getting called that is going to make the api call and will update the user property using reactive assignment user is updated so whenever the user new value will be there it will render this it will re-render this whole component i mean it will recalculate the value and re-render the user component so this is all about a simple github search application and uh, how to write the scoped styles how to make the life cycle uh, how to write the life cycle hook how to prefetch the data uh, before rendering the component using on mount here we are doing on app.js on mount and how to write the dom events how to pass the data all those concepts how to iterate onto the uh, array objects and how to write if else conditionals in in your template like if users otherwise do this so if else if is also a syntax if if you, if you just wanted to do like okay this object is there it is not undefined if its length is greater than zero or if it is a not null object then this will execute okay so that's it guys uh, thanks everyone let's talk about another example in the next video